Hello and welcome to episode 24 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making an animal enclosure. I did want to uh, cover deeds but uh, until Rainstorm finishes her land bridge that's really going to where I want I want to show you deeding on the new second island because there's nothing there that can get destroyed if um, for any reason anything nasty happens to do with deeding um, so I will get there but for now of course our animal pen uh, sorry our enclosure that I built to grow the crops is getting overcrowded with the animals so really I need to think about building them a suitable pen but before I get to that let me just quickly show you in the um, last episode about paving I mentioned about how you can do the corners and you can do them in different materials so there you can see what Rainstorm has done as a good example um, she's done one corner like in that material and one in this and it's both called cobblestone but I've never really gone in for doing that I've, I'm more of a either a stone slab or my favorite for doing the long paths of course is just cobblestone but as you can see you can a uh, rainstorm says that you can this is in order to be able to go at angles well I still do my angles with slabs or cobblestone so I'll leave it to you it's your own preference anyway so this episode is going to be about doing a nice big animal pen so they haven't got to crowd in and eat up all my crops so well let's get started now rainstorm before she left because she's the one who flattened all this area as you're probably all aware left instructions that i know exactly what she wants so there we are now i will say to you how many men are out there that actually knows or understands what a woman wants yes i know there's a few exceptional men but for me personally, it would be easier for me to work out Einstein's theory on rel relativity or Dante's divine comedy. And it isn't a comedy. So there we go. Right, I'm straying. So let's get back to the subject matter. My point being that I'm going to lose no matter what, whatever way I look at this. As all as I can do is simply build an animal pen. So that's what we shall do. Right, now I do know that she wants a gate here, so I'll leave that for the second part. This will have to be a two-part episode because you won't want to watch me build the whole pen. I do, do not believe that would be very, very boring for you. Uh, even if I do try and waffle a lot, it's still going to go on too much. So what I'm going to do is I am doing going to do something unique with the pen. And I'm hoping that uh, you haven't realised what I'm, what I, what when I do it, what it is, um, because I like to give you a little surprise with each thing that I do. That when you think about animal pens, you just think, yeah, just a square pen. No, okay. Animal pens differ from your crop pens, your crop enclosures, and I'm going to show you why. But for now, let's get started on this. So, the only tool we're going to need is our mallet our wooden mallet and of course we're going to do a low stone wall that's what I recommend you do for around the material for your animal enclosure um, what I would normally do with Rainstorm on the other servers we were on when we played Worm Online is I would have a tall stone wall on the perimeter of our property and within that perimeter I would create the animal pens and the uh, crop enclosures using small stone walls always small stone walls because the main tall stone wall would of course protect the perim perimeter from the outside so now for each wall we need 10 rock shards so you can see that I've been busy gathering them and they're all ready on the tiles so let's get started okay so We've activated our mallet. Now we right click the border, just like when we did the wooden fence. And we go to fence and we go to stone and build low stone, low stone wall. And here we go. Okay, same as before, we will add that to the construction window. 
and then that way we can just load up our rock shards and we'll set that to free and away we go okay maybe not away we go because I need to add the mallet I just love it when I do that eh? <laughs> and here we go full of such confidence and then fall flat on my face isn't it great there we go though <laughs> this time I got it right <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't take long because there's only 10 rock shards per each wall. And it's very quick anyway. So we'll see what we can do before I feel that you've got a bit too bored of this. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why have I got so many rock shards if it only requires 10? Well, because that's going to be another wall just there. But I shall get to that. Rock shards, uh, small stone, low stone walls are the best because they're so easy to repair. You only need a rock shard to repair it. And for improving it, if we take a look, yes, it's only quality level 18, but once my mining gets up much better, I'll be able to simply improve this up very easily with a rock shard again. Just It has to be a higher quality level though than the actual wall. But there we are, there's our first low stone wall. See how nice and simple that was? And of course, we can just carry on. So back to fence, stone, get the foundation down, then add that, and continue once I've got some bricks, uh, rock shards, there we go. Now this is gonna be a nice big pen because I want to go and gather up more animals. I've not been able to do the cooking tutorial yeah, which I wanted to do, because obviously I don't have enough ingredients and meat, especially. I, I We have, I think, two pieces of meat at the moment. Uh, but once we get a big animal enclosure, we can then start breeding in earnest and uh, get lots of animals and then start to cull them as we go along. And um, maybe get all different types of creatures. Right, there's the second wall done. Let's move along. As you can see, it doesn't take very long, but it is a very effective um, wall for an enclosure because it will last a good amount of time as well. It lasts longer than the wooden fence, but not as long as a tall uh, stone wall, which is, I guess, obvious. But then a tall stone wall requires bricks to build, which I will be doing at some point. I don't believe there's a great necessity for a tall stone wall, but I just want to simply do them so you've seen me doing them, so you know how to do them. And you can also see then the work that's involved and weigh up whether you wanted to stick to low stone walls or tall ones. And it really depends whether you're on a public server or not. If you're playing on your own, then small stone walls are fine. Bear in mind though that trolls can bash down walls, so if you've got a tall stone wall, it's going to take him a long time to do it. Well, longer than a small one. Okay. With um, low stone walls, it is uh, slopes limit where you can place the low stone walls against your skill. And it's, it's, I think when you get to about a 30 slope, your skill has to be 50 plus. So it does start to get, so that's why I mentioned earlier about uh, sticking to uh, 20 slopes. It'll ensure that you can do your low stone walls on a moderately low masonry skill. So there was method in my madness. Actually, what is my masonry on? Let's have a look. So we're on 52. We're looking quite good with that. And um, just for information wise, building low stone walls is one of the best ways to improve your masonry skill. As you can see, it will keep jumping up because once I've built this low stone wall, that's not where it ends. I can then continue always on repairing it and improving it and it will really help me get my masonry skill up. 
So when eventually we get to houses, I will do a wooden house first, and then I'll do a stone, and then perhaps the cottage. I'll go for all the different buildings that you can build as we get to them. But you'll see that they become much easier for me as my skill improves. And that's because I would have done loads of stone walls, low stone walls. They are a fantastic way to skill up masonry. So bear that in mind. Definitely, definitely worth building low stone walls. Um, but of course, you've got to mine these rock shards, but it's not too difficult. It's so quick in uh, Worm Unlimited to uh, mine. Well, it uh, really is even more fun than on the slow uh, Worm Online. Worm Unlimited, I mean, is very quick. Worm Online, of course, is much, much slower. Well, it took me years to get my um, mining skill up. And I've also figured out how I can show you some of the high-end skills later on. Like uh, skills which will take 6 to 12 months to develop. Uh, for example, um, enchanting of grass. Uh, what I will do is switch to my Worm Online character and show you with him how to build up the skill of uh, enchanting. And also I will show you enchanting grass with him. So you will be able to see it. I had a brainwave the other night with that, like a lightning strike. Very rare and far be between, but they do occasionally occur. Okay, so I'll probably get this side of the wall done and then call it there. And then what I will do is, in episode two, show you building one of the stone gates. And of course, explain about the design of the pen. It'll make more sense once I've got a wall up all the way around. And you can see how what I've done. Okay, so just a few more walls to go. You can see though, it's it's just a lovely skill because there's just so little to it. I mean, you've got your cart now, so you just load your cart up with rock shards and away you go. And of course, you will then have a nice big pen to store all your animals. I know most of you have probably by now got a pen up or two, but I'll be showing you something with this pen which you may not know, which will be invaluable to you in the future. A definite pro tip. But I'll save that for part two, because I want you to have a reason to come back. <laughs> oh yes, something else I forgot to mention. Another reason for why I'm building this massive pen is because some of the balls decided to start commit, committing suicide on um, Rainstorm's uh, land bridge. Um, I can only presume it was because of my company, so they were trying to escape and uh, drowning themselves in the water. So there we go, there's another reason why I must get this pen done. <laughs> Stop them all drowning themselves. Of course they still won't be able to get away from me, but you know, at least they'll be safe. Okay, we are nearly there. You know I never like to keep you too long. But I know also some of you do like to see a little more of the process. So, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to find a balance between overdoing something and underdoing something. So I will eventually find the right balance. But I believe I've got it right in all splitting these big tasks between multiple episodes especially as there is not really a great deal of information to give you I mean a low stone wall is fantastic it's brilliant for building up your masonry what else can I really tell you um, Wormpedia if you're interested interested to know about the exact slopes and how high and low they have to be for you at what skill level to be able to build I would refer you to Wormpedia because it is fantastic. It's got everything about the low stone wall there. Not a great deal, but there's a page full of information as you've come to expect. And it will run you through. Good for reference as well. You can see my masonry now is on 53. Fantastic. Okay, I think we've got one more wall to do, and then we'll call it. Okay, 
All right, let's do this last one. That's where Rainstorm, I believe, wants the gate as well. So how many gates would we put on our animal pen? Yes, of course, we'd put two gates, and you know why. Because you watched me when I was building that wooden one and explained. <clears throat> Of course, you can have as many gates as you want. It's not really a problem, is it? Totally up to you. But uh, I always tend to have two gates minimum. If it's a really big enclosure or pen, then I'll have more gates. I'll usually have one on each side or two on each side. You know, one north, south, east and west. Okay, let's see. Now, is there anything else before I finish this starting part of uh, this enclosure episode to mention to you I don't believe so right there we go so you will see in the next part that I will build pens all yeah this is good I'll leave you with some food for thought I shall leave you to think about this so as you can see, you can see how it's going. Low stone wall with a gate there and a gate here and a low stone wall. But over here, I'm going to be building lots of pens all the way along this side. What I want you to think about is number one, how big will them pens be? How many tiles? And number two, why am I building pens all down this side? Why don't I just build a low stone wall all the way around instead of complicating things? So, there we are. There's some food for thought. I shall be back in the concluding part to this episode where we'll be making the gates. And um, there's going to be lots of gates, as you're going to see. So, see you in part two. Thank you for joining me, wherever you are in the world. Um, God bless you, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.